Hi everybody, I'm Kayla and this is At Home with Kayla Price and thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new here, I invite you to be a subscriber. I post a new video about once a week, usually on Sunday, and I cover all sorts of topics from cooking, cleaning, uh, fashion, beauty, all sorts of things that apply to all of us. So anyway, I'm glad you were here today. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about preventing some signs of aging. And so there's a lot out there about keeping our faces looking as youthful as possible. We know that anything we do to our face, we're all supposed, supposed to do to our necks. But I wanna talk about keeping our hands from looking their age. So, or even for some of us, it, we may be doing things to our hands to make them look older than we really are. So I just wanted to provide some reminders, but as always, I invite you to leave comments below if there is anything you would like to add to the discussion. So I am enjoying a spiced tea. It is so very good. I did want to tell you that if you've ever made the spice tea at winter time, the hot tea, if you know what I'm talking about with tang and instant tea and sugar, I think there might even be some powdered lemonade in there, um, cinnamon, nutmeg, that sort of thing. This is that. It's just over ice instead of being served hot. And it is so good and so refreshing and easy. So, if I have that recipe, I will put it below. So let's talk about hands and preventing signs of aging on our hands. Of course, with anything we do, we have to look at prevention and we have to look at ongoing care. So I'm gonna start with the prevention side and some of the worst things I think that happens to our hands are Sun exposure, of course, like any kind of skin on our body, in particular driving, because they're just setting up on the dashboard, you know, with sun beating on them or sun coming through the clouds and beating on them the whole time we were driving. So what I do to try to prevent sunspots when I'm driving is I always put an SPF on my hands, in particular the top of my hands, each day to try to prevent that. I even keep this little tube of SPF 30 in my car. Now that may shorten its life, but as long as I remember to replenish it pretty often, that shouldn't be a problem. This is just something I picked up at Bucky's. It has an expiration date on it, and as I mentioned, it's an SPF 30, but it's small enough I can just keep it in my glove compartment and pop a little on when I'm driving. The other thing I have done, that's a newer thing I've been doing, but the thing that I used to do all the time and I have gone back and forth with whether I always do it now, but that is, I used to work out every morning pretty much. And so I always kept these little workout gloves in my car. I have two of them. I just grabbed one real quick. I would leave them in my car. And then when I was starting to drive, I would put them on and drive with these. Now, for me, it was a twofer because these were already in the car, so I didn't have to worry about getting an extra set of gloves and putting in the car. So if you keep some kind of glove in your car, even if you buy a driving glove or you have workout gloves or a winter glove, as long as it doesn't have a slippy surface inside, you know, like knit gloves, I wouldn't want to drive with those because they would make driving dangerous. But a glove like this uh, with a leather on the inside is so good for driving. It's comfortable, but it's also going to protect your hand from sun's rays. So those were two things that I like to do while driving. So the other thing that we probably get a lot of um, harshness done to our hands because of is washing dishes and cleaning our house. The washing dishes is just being in that water for a prolonged time and it'll just take all the hydration out of our skin. And then with the chemicals that we use for cleaning, they can actually do a number as well. So the best thing I do when washing dishes is that I always use a pair of 
gloves. And I just keep these under my sink and most of the time I remember to put them on. The trouble comes when I think, oh, I'll just do a glass or two, I don't need my gloves. And then I find out, you know, that I wash down the counters and clean the sink and all sorts of things. So be very, um, diligent, <laughs> be very diligent about wearing your gloves and it will help you immensely. Also, sometimes I find that maybe the dishwashing liquid I use can be um, harsh on my hand skin and cause them to break out. So this helps so much. The other thing is if when you're cleaning your house, if you'll be sure and wear gloves as well. Sometimes if you've got some bleach in a product or just some of the different chemicals that are in cleaning products, can be very harsh on our on any of our skin but on our hands because that's what we're using to clean everything so if you'll wear gloves as you clean around the house that should help as well so those are thoughts on preventing aging on our hands now for care and for me the main thing i always do is i keep lotion conveniently located in my purse, in my desk drawer, in my bathroom, by my sink where I wash my hands so many times a day, but then also all the sinks around the house, under the sink where I do dishes, under the sink in our um, butler's pantry, all the bathrooms, they all have hand lotion, easy for me or my guests to put on our hands after we wash them. And I like a lotion that is not too watery, not too greasy. I don't want scents in it just because, you know, those scents aren't always good for our skin either. So if you'll just get a fragrance free, I think you might find that it is better for your hands in the long run. Plus, I usually wear perfume, so I don't want competing scents on my body that I'm smelling. You know, I just want the scent of my perfume. So this Luberderm has been my long-term favorite. I've probably used it for about 30 years. And what I usually like to do is get the big pump bottles, keep those under my bathroom sink, and then keep a smaller bottle like this in my desk drawer and just refill it as it gets low, just so I don't have to have a big bottle in my desk. But I am enjoying a different uh, lotion right now doesn't mean I'll always stick with it. I probably will always stick with my Luberderm unless something magical comes along. But this is Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Salve. It comes in a couple of different sizes. This is a size that's good for a desk drawer or even if you like to carry a larger purse, then it's a good size uh, to put in a purse. Or I like to take it when I travel just because it's going to be plenty for most vacations so I'm not having to worry even with something this big but it's a good hand lotion you can put it on your legs your feet it's just a good hydrating emollient lotion to have and then the other thing I was going to mention if I get a free little sample and it's a good hand lotion like this is Satin Hands by Mary Kay, which I think is really good. Um, I will put a little sample in my purse and that way I don't have to worry about having something like this, switching to a smaller purse and then saying, oops, well, it won't fit. This will fit in any purse. So I like to make sure I have little ones around the house so that I can slip them into my purse real easy and it's just convenient to have, you know, while you're driving along, you can put it on your elbows or your hands, or if you have some downtime, like when I'm at work and um, maybe having to watch a training video, I'll just be sure and get my lotion out and put it on, you know, during the course of the training so that it can kind of marinate while I'm just sitting there not doing anything. So keep hand lotions, good hand lotions, readily available around your house, in your purse, in your desk, and use them. And I think that will be very helpful to, to make sure your hands uh, continue to look young and feel good. Next is another important aspect. In addition to the actual 
you know, skin of our hands, we want to look for our little cuticles that go around our nails. Those can get very dried out and be unsightly, and that unsightliness lends them to looking older than they may, may be. So I'm going to give you several examples of things you can do to keep your cuticles hydrated. One is to use like a good lip balm just because this is dual purpose. So if you don't have a lot of room in your purse or in your desk drawer to keep something for cuticles and something for uh, your lips, then get a good lip balm and you can use it for both purposes. So this is just Gretchen's Bee Ranch. I think it was something I got in a gift bag and I use it on my lips. I'll use it on my cuticles and I'll use it if I'm starting to get dry hands from dishwashing in the winter or cooking just because you cook a lot, uh, wash your hands a lot when you're cooking, but you don't always stop to put hand lotion on because then you would get it on the same food. So um, when my my new trick is that underneath my nail, my skin will get dry under there and start cracking. Then I can just put some lip balm under my nails and it helps to hydrate and heal that area. So lip balms are good for multi-purposing. As is something like shea butter. This is L'Occitane 100% shea butter. It's something this is really what I used to keep in my desk drawer all the time because again, it's good for lips, it's good for dry elbows, it's good for cuticles, it's good for lots of things going on, but it's it's also a good emollient product. And then I believe I um, also have kept in my desk drawer, drawer before Burt's Bees, I think it was a lemon scented uh, cuticle balm and it came in a little tin about this size. It too was really, really good and I think I probably went through a couple of those during uh, the last years of having my business and it's something you can be on the phone and put an application on or again, you know, reading something, a magazine, professional magazine. I wasn't reading, you know, Glamour Office, but it's something you can do just to keep your hands looking good. Uh, what I did for a living, people were always looking at my hands, so I wanted to make sure they look nice, but some kind of cuticle cream or lip balm on your cuticles is a very good thing. You can also get oils. This is a C&D oil that I like to put on my cuticles right before I go to bed and it lasts forever. It's a little bitty body bottle, but it will last forever. So I just put it at the top of each fingernail and then rub it in and let it marinate overnight. And I can wake up to soft, nice looking cuticles. So if any of these products are available or something similar, I will link them below for you, at least to give you an idea of what they are. If I can't find a link, then I will still list what it is, uh, just so you can search for it yourself. And then uh, one other thing I want to mention is if you'll keep your nails looking nice, if they'll be trim and clean, and filed, then that helps make your hands look younger as well. Now for me, I don't have the kind of life where the nails that are in style right now, the stiletto, long pointy nails, that would never go over with my lifestyle. But um, if you're going to have something like that, then you've got to really go all out. You want all 10 of your nails to look perfect. If one breaks, you need to get the one that broke, repaired rather quickly. So for me, I just like short, clean, professional looking nails with or without polish, it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't go for the multi-length of nails. I like all of them to be about the same length because again, that looks like they're well kept as opposed to the different lengths. It just, it even though you may be cleaning your nails and taking care of them, it, it lends to looking unkept, just like a raggedy beard versus a manicured beard, I guess, on men. I'm not talking about women, I'm talking about men. 
And then the last thing I wanted to mention is I like to wear a, a LED red light therapy mask on my face. And the one I have is by Omnilux. They're kind of expensive. You can look around for discount codes, but they sell them for your face, they sell them for your neck, and they sell them for your hands. Well, I'm a cheap person, so I did invest in one for my face that after I've worn it for the 10 minutes on my face, then I put it around my neck, which usually I will put it this way so it goes up my neck and down my chest. I wear it for another 10 minutes, and then the last thing I do is I'll put my hands on top of my belly or thighs, I will lay the Omnilux mask across my hands and let the LED light therapy work on the fine lines, wrinkles, and age spots on my hands. So I get, I feel like I'm getting a much better value for my Omnilux face mask by using it for the three different applications and uh, it does, I think it really does make a difference on my hand. On this hand, I had a few little spots coming up um, and they're still there but they are not dark. I guess they're more like freckly looking things but I just didn't want them there. So anything you can do to prevent is going to be so much better but if not, if you can do something to try to counteract then you'll be better off. So those are my ideas on how to keep your hands looking good but I bet you're going to have some really great ideas for me and other viewers as well. So if you would add those below in the comments section, I would love to learn what you have learned. And if you're new here, I invite you to be a subscriber. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I'll know to do more like this. But I did want to mention if you're new to YouTube, in order to be able to comment, like, and subscribe, you probably need to be registered with YouTube from what I understand. So um, it's simple and convenient. It uh, doesn't cost you anything. And I have never been spammed or gotten any kind of weird notifications from YouTube. So you might want to check on it and it may be a fun way to get to follow your favorite YouTubers and to join in conversations on YouTube. So thank you so much for being here today. I will be back next weekend with another new video. And until then, have a great week. Bye-bye.